Hello and welcome to our Learning to Cook Pizza journey. My name is Ellie and today I'm going to be showing how I light the Uni Karoo 16 and make a mozzarella and honey topped pizza. This is the temperature of the table today. It's really cold. It's about zero degrees and the stone is five degrees centigrade. So it's a really cold day. I don't mind if it's cold. I don't like the wind and the rain. So this is a perfect cooking day. I've placed the blocks like this. It's one on top of the other. So these are pieces of kindling and underneath that I've got lump wood. I put about 50% lump wood in and 50% kindling in to start off the fire. And then I top up with the lump wood and real wood logs once the fire has established. So I'm just going to light the fire now and I want to aim it at the kindling because that's going to take faster than the lump wood. So I'll hold this for about a minute and move it around, make sure that it's covering an area that actually catches. And then once it's done that, I'll put the lid down and I'll come back in five minutes time. So that's caught nicely. I'll check back in five minutes and see how this flame is going. With this oven, you will need to ensure that the switch here is in the open position on the chimney and also the vents are open inside. They don't move. So if you've pushed them to open, then they'll stay open even when you move the oven. I use a brand of kindling that I can buy in my local hardware shop. It's, it's got about 20% moisture in them it's, and it's really good value and I use them a lot and they, they work really well. And then I also use the Big K charcoal brand Lumpwood. I think it's very good quality for what I need. That's the brand I'm using currently and I'm also using a gas burner with a camping gas butane attachment and I've had this for many years and that's why it looks a bit messy. It's been through a lot with me with loads of wood fired cooks. I just want to show you the can. That's the top. Some of these tops have different attachments so this attachment is for this particular camping gas butane bottle. I've got a link below two products that are similar to this. There's many different types of butane bottle caps and attachments and I got a bit confused at the beginning but I've kept with this one because I just find it really easy to use. I was a bit wary of using this at first but once I used it for about a week I didn't look back it's just so handy and that's the lid the top of the bottle but very handy. The perfect size log that I fit in here is about two, two inches two to three inches wide by 8 inches, 20 centimetres. That's my perfect size log for the Uni Crew 16. It's a good great size log. In five minutes, the oven's gone up to 110-ish degrees centigrade. Look at that. That's just five minutes. This needs an oven glove. I'm just putting a bit of a bigger log in here now. Get it going faster. Just put the lid back on. Once those kindling bits have dropped down, I'll add another log to support the other one and then the oven will heat up nicely ready for my pizza in about 10 minutes. It's at 205 degrees already. So whilst the oven has been heating up I've been preparing my dough so it's ready now for its toppings so as that's been warming up out there I've got this ready. Now I'm just going to quickly check the oven to make sure it's got enough heat. Let's go do that now. Okay so seven minutes later it's at 356 so I'm on course to get this oven ready for the cook. It's going to have to get to about 430 degrees 
centigrade in there on that temperature dial. But I just want to check the back just to make sure I've got enough whilst I, I start doing my pizza. I kind of don't want to be distracted by the fuel. If you've got any barbecue tools like this, anything that can go in and move your wood around, very, very handy. Make sure you've got gloves on if you're doing it this way. And just nudge it in gently. Put the lid back on. Make sure the lid is flat so there's no air escaping around the edges. I better get on with my pizza. Now I'm going to add the toppings. A good tip is that if you are thinking of making more pizza after this one, add a bit more charcoal at this point. That'll keep the oven going and have a nice distribution of both wood and charcoal for future pizza cooks. It'll keep your oven hot as you make your next pizza. Oven is super hot. It's warmed up. It's about 430. 155 in the centre of the stone. Ooh, that's a bit hot. Um, I'll just wait a second for that to come down just a little bit till the oven's come down to about 450 in there. Beautiful big flame. I think it's going to be all right now, so I'll put this in. but not too far at the back, quite close to the front. So, yeah, minus minus one zero degree cooking day. This dough has been warm proofed, room proofed for 24 hours. It's also had a four day cold proof in the fridge. And so it's been well proofed. <laughs> Bring it forward a little bit. You can see that it's um, looking super fast. I don't even know if I want to put the door back on actually because it's, it's nearly done. Check it.
about 10 minutes and the temperature of the oven is still 408 so I'm really pleased about that I can open my oven and check the inside temperature on the stone and it's oh really good to cook on I just don't have my pizza ready <laughs> so I'm gonna keep an eye on that now because I'm gonna do my pizza ready for the next uh, video so Hope you enjoyed this video of you lighting up and heating the Uni Crew 16. Just a few summary points. Make sure that your oven is open and that your grate is fully stocked. I'm going to add another log here to keep this going because it's gone down a bit and I know that's not going to last very long. But it's just a matter of topping up with your, your lump wood and your kindling and some logs. So take care everyone, hope you found this useful, enjoy your pizza cooking and I'll see you soon, bye!